everyone it's another godfather Father minute. minute my name is alex robinson my name is andy robinson and we believe in, in america, america. <laughs> today we're talking about minute 131 of the godfather that's right the, do, you, do you give the 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 format of the podcast anymore i don't remember well, I figure by this point, it's unlikely someone is going to start with episode 131. Oh, yeah, They'd be so much more know. likely to start oh, from right. the beginning. But if you, this is your first episode, you know what? You never know. Okay. So <laughs> in this show, this is a podcast. You've downloaded it mm-hmm. onto a device or... or, or you're live computer. streaming it. No, we're live streaming yeah, it. You don't have yes. to download it. Well, not live streaming it, but streaming it. it oh, that's true. Yeah. Or maybe you're watching it on our YouTube channel. Our new YouTube channel. Yes. You wanted to, what, right. Tell us about that YouTube channel. We painstakingly extracted all of the audio from our podcast, and we have created a unique YouTube video for every episode. It's a unique user experience. We call it the Godfather Minute User Experience. (laughs) Yeah. It's for your father. It's 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 interactive. You mm-hmm. get to pick which character. <laughs> We're just totally making stuff up now. They're all on YouTube. Yeah, check so, it out. Yeah, it's a good way if you want to. And you know, it's a good way to share the, the show with somebody. Yeah, because so. who who isn't watching YouTube? Yeah, it's yeah. the thing these days. You know, I just read today. I know we're getting restrained a little bit. I just yeah. read today that Google Google, Google that owns YouTube mm-hmm. just r- revealed how much they make. On just on YouTube every year. You want to take a guess? Oh boy! Um, How much they earn? Fourteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'll take fourteen dollars too. <laughs> Fifteen billion dollars. Wow! A year. That's crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So my point is, a whole lot of people watching videos shared. We have our own channel. A lot of a lot of money in the racist comments. Yeah. So anyway, it's an easier way for some people mm-hmm. to access YouTube. So yeah. share it, watch it. Send, make comments, mm-hmm. thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you need to do. Thumbs up. You don't need to emphasize the thumbs down so okay, much. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, we've we've deactivated the thumbs down function. <laughs> okay, good. good. <laughs> we took your took your thumbs down yeah. away. And by the way, if you if anyone who watches even just a minute of a video, we've we've automated it so it immediately puts in a positive comment, mm-hmm. one of about 160 we have in the mm-hmm. bank. So it randomly mm-hmm. auto populates one and gives us a thumbs up. Yeah. Plus, it um, as a way to help out the show, it it uh, installs phishing software onto your computer. Oh, and how do the users benefit from that, Alex? Well, because it hel- it's the it helps the show. It benefits mm-hmm. the show, and that mm. the listeners are listening to the show. Yeah. For free, most of you. Yeah. So uh, there you go. It's win win. Yeah. Because through that phishing software, we find out who your favorite characters are, mm-hmm. and then we then we plant more more dialogue in our podcast based on those responses Uh, although i gotta say so far i'm a little suspicious because all our phishing software is picking uh tessio as the favorite (laughs) (laughs) barney barney you tapped my computer again barney (laughs) (laughs) he sounds so hurt (laughs) i thought we were friends barney Barney, can you take the phishing software off my computer for overtime's sake? Can you install it? Can you install that McAfee for old time? It's perfect. Uh, well, let's talk about minute 131. Yeah. Alex, repeat. A minuto. A minuto. Numero. Numero. Cento. Cento. Trentuno. Trentuno. You got it. Cento trentuno. You got it. It'd be true if my father was still alive. <laughs> Uh, By the way, the reason I brought up how much YouTube makes every year is uh-huh. because Pop would love a business like that. Do mm, you think? Yeah. Or do you think it's one of those things that some people think uh, should be legalized, but if it wasn't for those uh, pesavizantes uh, in the church? <laughs> yeah. It's like this, this, uh, this, this video stream business is a dirty business, and in the end, it's, it's going to be the end of us. <laughs> He's concerned about piracy. And stuff. Yeah. Even uh even data protectionists will go running for cover. <laughs> what do you call those people? Oh, consumer act. Uh, what do they call them? Consumer advocates. Advocates. Consumer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, minute one hundred and thirty-one. Mm-hmm. We are still at the meeting of the six families, oh. and uh, it's been going on for weeks now. 
And uh, minute 131 is uh, Don Zalucci continues his lecture about how drugs are bad, but inevitable. So they should limit it to the dark people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don agrees uh, for the sake of keeping the peace. But Barzini asked for assurances that the Don won't attempt a vendetta. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. It's a great minute, Alex. It is a great minute. Where do we start? A lot of crime boss action in this this minute. (laughs) Uh, Well, since it's at the beginning of the minute, why don't we talk about Don Zalucci's racism and almost more importantly, his banging of the table. His performance. I was like, dude, is he from like Kansas City or something? What's with him? (laughs) Detroit. He's a Detroit dog. (laughs) But who is he to be banging on the table like that? I picture people like, oh, like getting woken up by him banging on the table. (laughs) Well, I know. I watched it several times. It's fascinating. And there's only... One person that flinches or makes any motion at all. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, I don't. I couldn't recognize it. It's someone on the end. Right? Don Corleone. No, definitely not Don Corleone. Mm. You can see him and nothing. He just stares at Barzini. <laughs> no, I couldn't tell who. I. It was someone I didn't recognize. Oh, okay. I, I think it was just one of the to tell you out of state ones. <laughs> Do you think that no, Don Zalucci is always doing these kind of grandstanding? Well, Everyone's just like, just let him talk and let him do his thing. Like, yeah, it's great, Zalucci. It's, it's great. That's what made me wonder if no one even flinches. They must be he either he's overused it. Yeah. Or I guess what else could it mean? I guess it's not a power move where no one's even listening to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I Hello. Think <laughs> That's why it's this thing on. <laughs> Hello. We're gonna keep it in the other neighborhoods. <laughs> we thank Don Zalucci for his comments, of course. <laughs> well, last minute we talked about how him. We, you remember we pointed out that he stands up. Mm-hmm. He's the oh, only one to right. stand he up very and talk. Theatrical. And you and I debated whether or not that was a power move. Mm. I think we landed on yes, it's a power move because you're standing above everyone else. But now I'm thinking it's a little too, it's a little sweaty. It's a little thirsty, as the kids say. <laughs> well, accompanied with a fist pound that elicits no reaction, I'm thinking he's just doing what he can. <laughs> That's what he's I mean. Like, doing he anything stands he up and no one's listening to him. <laughs> he's just like, ah! like, a, like an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps on the table, starts just throwing a tantrum, yeah. <laughs> kicking things off the table. Or like in Arrested Development, he does like he magic trick all pennies coming in. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> all the dons are ah, going after the pennies. <laughs> Um, would you have you ever? Uh, you know what, Alex? Your listeners want to know more about who is the real Alex Robinson. Who is the real Alex Robinson? Well, Alex- you asked. I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Have you ever pounded a table? Yeah, a table or a wall or kicked something to get people's attention. <laughs> <laughs> something similar to what Dunzo. I cannot. Does. Maybe since when I was a little kid, I imagine I probably did like a, a tantrum or something like that. I've, I don't think it's ever something I've ever done as an adult. Mm. It's very rare that I'm trying to get people to pay more attention to me. Usually I'm just kind of like, okay. Just, you guys <laughs> yeah. just move on to the next person. And I'll, uh, well, I, well, I assume you being, you were a teacher for many years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So do you think Don Zalucci should have flicked the lights on and off to get attention? <laughs> yeah. Would that have been a better way to work? What he should have just done was <laughs> waited. Oh, yeah. I and then said, yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll that call your been, parents. That would have been great if there was one Don just standing the whole the, the whole conversation because <laughs> he's just waiting for them just to, to, to uh, call on him. <laughs> Has uh, does it prove effective banging on the table or something? I in preparation for this minute, I went back into my archives, mm-hmm. and there was one at least one time, one that I definitely remember where I similarly pounded my fist on a table. Mm-hmm. I was in a meeting with two upperclassmen. You know, I used to be a disciplinarian mm, in high school. Shots. Yeah, there were these two. They were juniors and seniors, and they I didn't only remember what they had done, but they were just not taking me and my colleagues seriously. They were just, they were even laughing. So you were jumping to the defense of your colleagues more than yourself. Sure, it wasn't about me. (laughs) I should have started by standing, but I didn't. And I was just so, they were interrupting us and laughing and joking. I got so mad, I just, I just. Did a Zalucci. And it wor- but it worked. Oh, yeah? They, they, told, they snapped up, stopped talking, and you know, sometimes you got to make a little noise. Yeah. Anyway. 
Uh, it didn't seem to work. They're already listening. That's the problem in the Godfather oh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> They're already quiet and listening. And you only you do that to get attention, which makes me believe maybe he was doing it because he was so mad mm-hmm. that it's an infam- that it would be an infamia. Yeah, he's yeah, like, we got to keep it away from children. Or maybe he at that point he thought like he was telling his wife like when I when I mention that it should be legalized. Everyone's going to start asking questions and raising a fuss, so I'm going to bang my fists on the table to, to get their attention back. And the fact that no one even answered, no one even responded at all to his, to his comments. Maybe every Don gets, during these meetings, get, gets one time when they're allowed to pound the table, and that highlights that that is the issue most important to them in oh, this Oh, it's like a... Uh, <laughs> and Don Zalucci wants drugs kept out of... Uh, Kept away from children. Yeah, that's that his. Uh, that's his. Like that's his platform. That he's yeah. standing. <laughs> which is funny because you would have thought yeah. that uh, Stracci would have wanted to keep it away from kids. Remember, he's he, the one always yeah. giving them candy. Well, uh, so first of all, we know that uh, Don Corleone's thing is acting like a man. Yeah, because that's when he <laughs> <laughs> when he smacks Johnny. That's when he's going to act like a man. <laughs> Everyone has their own uh, their own beef. It'd be great yeah. if Don Corleone and Don Solucci mm-hmm. were both disciplining Johnny when he started crying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don Corleone's shaking him and mocking him. <laughs> Don Corleone's Don Solucci's pounding on the desk. Uh, not many people. Uh, it's a little known fact that um, who not uh, Philip Tatelli is the father, right? Yes, Bruno is the illusion. The late son. Bruno. He was uh, training to be a his his thing was pre war Scotch. Because if you remembered when he was mm-hmm. when he was talking with um, with uh, what's his name Luca Brazzi, he did the pounding thing, but he just did it very gently on his hand. He like oh. patted his hand. That was his, like that was his like uh, warming yeah. up for it. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so th- does the book have anything about is now is Don Salucci in on the conspiracy? Do you know? Do you remember? Like, did, did Barzini tell him? Listen, at a certain point, get up, bang the table if you no, have to. <laughs> It's it's not that's not in the book, uh-huh. but what's in the book is that Don Zalucci was a really good friend of Don Corleone's and mm-hmm. very loyal to him. Mm-hmm. And Puzo wrote that Don Corleone would be able to rely on Don, Don Zalucci in this meeting. Oh, okay. So it makes me think that he he, did, wasn't, he wasn't in cahoots with Barzini. Yeah, because pretty much everyone, no one seems to take the side of of the Don of Don. Everyone seems to be no. saying, like, we should do it. We should go in for drugs. Yeah, reluctantly. They all, well, some yeah, of them. I'm crying but, crocodile well, no, but Puto, tears, yes, Puto writes in the book. Uh, you know what? Let me, yeah. let me start quoting from the book because I've okay. got some stuff from this section. All right. Page, I'll allow it, but uh, allow- tread carefully, counsel. I'm going to give you a short leash. <laughs> Page 289. Uh, it was finally agreed. Drug trap. We get to this in a minute, right? Where Barzini summarizes what the next steps are. It's kind of yeah. like at the halfway point. He yeah. says, he says, okay, you get the... Yeah. Uh, yeah, because the minute ends with Tatalia Tatal, saying, I yeah. want assurances today. Yeah. And then he's like, we don't need to assure each other like lawyers. Well, he doesn't say that in this minute. He starts to say, yeah. he's at the beginning of saying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, After I, all, we're not communists. Yeah, I know. That's or a, lawyers. Or <laughs> band leaders. <laughs> Puzo writes, it was finally agreed. Drug traffic would be... Pr- Wait, we're in, uh, hold on. Yeah, here it is. Puzo writes, all the Dons spoke. All of them, in unison. <laughs> <laughs> we all, uh, all of them deplored the traffic in drugs mm. as a bad thing that would cause trouble, but agreed there was no way to control it. There was simply too much money to be made in the business. Therefore, it followed that there would be men who would dare anything to dabble in it. That was human nature. Yeah, that's true. So Puzo writes that they deplored it. Yeah, remember they're old school. That's true. Little mustache piece. Yeah. except for Barzini. This is the forties. Yeah, Barzini's the only one with a vision. Yeah. <laughs> hey, back to Don Zalucci's, uh, is that a diatribe? Grand is that what you would call it? Is that a monologue or a diatribe? Diatribe, or speech? Both, both. Okay. Yeah, depending on your point of view, I guess. He would say it's a monologue, someone else would say it was a diatribe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, it's all about perspective. It's too much perspective. He says they're animals anyway, so let them lose their souls. Mm-hmm. If they're an, doesn't the church teach that animals don't have souls anyway? It is very uh, theologically uh, sticky. Yeah, because it seems like if they have souls, then you would have an obligation to help them. As to, if they're animals, then who cares? Yeah, but if they have souls, then that's like a 
Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it doesn't doesn't add up. The logic yeah. is not there. Yeah. What he should say is, uh, they're animals anyway. They don't have souls. So yeah, they're soulless animals. They're soulless animals. Yeah. So go ahead and sell them drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them drugs on a one for one basis with the Teamsters. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to point that out. I was, I was at, wondering, is it me or is it Don Zalucci? Is he not making sense here? It's him, right? It's not. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. me. It's him. <laughs> hey, one more thing about Don Zalucci in the book. This is this is really funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Puzo writes. <laughs> check this out. As for his remarks about children, that was that was Don Zalucci's well known sensibility, his tender heartedness speaking. After all, who would sell drugs to children? Where would children get the money? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you make that joke last minute or two minutes ago? Uh, I don't know. It does sound familiar. I think you said that because someone at Fredo Corleone's Mickey Mouse nightclub did a callback or a reference to you saying that. Oh, huh, weird. I think. Yeah. Unless I'm just dreaming this all. But I feel like I might have stolen great? it from someone else, though. So it's possible there's a there's totally. a mutual common uh, ancestor and, for both. After all, maybe it came from Puzo. Yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised how many things I look up on the internet relating to, like, for instance, he says, that's an infomnia. Yeah. And I looked that up, and in Google, like, the top three references are all to The Godfather. Oh, wow. It being mentioned in yeah. a scene. So so yeah. it, that it's happened a bunch of times where, like, the only size, source cited is The Godfather. So it makes oh, it wow. tough to... Uh, yeah. Tough to uh, well, look think up. about it, too. When was the internet created? 90, in the 90s? Mm-hmm. Right? Something like that. So... Things have been slowly but surely, maybe quickly uploaded. Yeah. It makes sense that I mean, in, in Famida, Famida, in Famida has been around for centuries, if not yeah. millennia, yeah. in Roman and Italian culture. But only since the nineties have has right. stuff been uploaded, and it's so close to the release of The Godfather. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure. M- I'm sure a few more people have seen The Godfather than have studied. A Roman yeah. law that, that would yeah. so yeah it makes sense that uh, I find that kind of thing fascinating that certain concepts on, only will survive as barnacles <laughs> on giant pop culture things yeah right uh, you know like um, like Star Wars mm-hmm. the, like Peter Cushing was famous before Star mm-hmm. Wars but yeah. now like for most people that's what he'll be famous yeah. for, for the rest for the rest of time yeah so um, anyway. Alec Alec Guinness too Alec Guinness, I would say, in this, I was talking yeah. with a friend of mine about that. I said, oh, because Peter Cushing and Alec Guinness will primarily be remembered as Star Wars. People. Yeah. And he's like, well, no, they were in a bunch of Hammer horror films in the 60s. And I'm like, okay, yeah, people are really yeah. going to remember those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, there'll be some hardcore film people who will, sure, but for the most yeah. part. Oh, uh, no. you know, so, yeah. uh, oh, so speaking of the in, the infam, mm-hmm. is it infam? It's in, I remember our Latin scholar, P. Carucci, shared mm-hmm. that with us. Infamita. 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 Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so or you, you could say infamada. Infamada. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. Infamina or duh? D- d- there's like a D soft T, I think. Infamita. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. So uh, in Roman times, I looked up, uh, that was when you would s- sort of get um, a. Uh, Usually it had to do with like uh, prostitution or other mm-hmm. disreputable people who would like mm. lose be stripped of their citizenship. Oh wow! They couldn't vote and they couldn't do certain things. Actors were all like for were, committing certain crimes. Not necessarily. Even just being an actor was oh. like considered low low enough where you were like you weren't wow. you, were, you weren't. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there was where the word infamous is the same root. Mm. Like we say, mm. the infamous killer so and so. It's mm-hmm. the, the same um, same thing. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, infamita. Yeah, very cool. It's an infamita. <laughs> Don uh, Puzo also writes in the book another kind of funny thing about Don Zalucci because we we're talking about the the inattentiveness or seemingly inattentiveness of the other dons uh-huh. there. So, uh, so Puzo wrote that they had allowed society. So he's speaking about the the folks to whom Don Zalucci references. Mm-hmm. About not having souls. Mm-hmm. And he says, Puzo writes, that they had allowed society to grind them into the dust, prove them of no account, and his and Don Zalucci's mentioning them in any way proved that the dawn of Detroit had a mind that always wavered toward irrelevancies. 
Wait, what was that? Sorry, this is a little bit out of context. More what Puzo is saying that is that all the Dons already understood or they already agreed oh, and it was I understood see. the point he was making about keeping the drugs in, yeah. in the other neighborhoods. And so the fact that he's bringing it up is another it's just another symptom or sign that he is he's like, rambling. And yeah. they already, it's already understood by all of them that that's the case. Yeah, especially that he has to clarify the dark people, the coloreds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what do you mean exactly non-solution? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a, uh, that's a, that's funny also because you, I think, aren't the Sicilians kind of looked down on as like the, Mm-hmm. the 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 uh the colors of italy yeah they so do have darker skin so it's funny that they're just hair you know that they uh that they uh don't give the, yeah. they, they, rather than being like oh yeah those people need help they're like they're like they they are siding with the oppressor as, yeah. the, as, the, yeah. as the kids yeah nowadays. it's interesting so, uh, well here's a quick little quiz for you uh-huh. uh so we he uses that the term infomnia for uh uh-huh. And uh, so, as like I said, when I was looking it up, Godfather references come up first. Oh, yeah. And uh, I saw a PDF that a film teacher had done as a companion to the Godfather mm. of Italian phrases that show up in the Godfather. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So I wrote down the list mm-hmm. and um, you I want you to tell me like the context in oh, which it okay. is said, like, who said it or, or okay. so. Okay. I think I'll do pretty well on this. Okay, we've, right? been, we've been keeping tabs on that. Uh, yes. So uh, Sfortunato. 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 Uh, Sfortunato. Oh gosh, out of context, it's hard. I know. Oh, we even joked about that yeah. years ago. In the in is the, it one, the wedding scene? It is in the wedding scene, and the I think the sc- the script has him saying "Sweet tomorrow." Oh, that's right. It is Polly <laughs> saying "Fortunato," like my yeah. bad luck. I think that's what well, it like. Is. Oh, if there was someone else's wedding, yeah. So. yeah. Uh, consigliere. That refers to, isn't it Hyman Roth's relationship with Michael? That's right. He's kind of like an advisor. It's a uh-huh. very sacred relationship. Counselor. Uh, Finocchio. Oh, Finocchio is a, a gay person. Mm-hmm. Who's, and, who says and it? And Don, uh, Don Corleone says it. Oh, it's, I think Johnny is around, maybe. Oh, with all the other Hollywood Finocchios. <laughs> He's talking about the Hollywood yeah, that's right. producers and stuff. Uh, Stronzo. I don't know if oh, I'm saying it right. Yeah, Stronzo. Oh, boy. When is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, to I, help, I did not write down we where it was. We talked about that, too. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think every time I'm an Italian I'm person. Try- yeah. I'm <laughs> trying to picture who says it. Stronzo. It's not sunny. Oh, I don't remember. I thought it was Sunny. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it means like asshole, mm-hmm. but uh, I don't remember what kind. Oh, you don't remember who it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Stronzo. Uh, Vafango. <laughs> Vafango, yeah. <laughs> uh, could you be fair and clean that up? <laughs> uh, do you want to explain to people who, what, who, what yeah, the that was? Yeah, Connie Corleone. Well, that was Carlo cursing out. Saying F you to Connie, and then she says the same yeah, thing back to, him. back to him. It's when they get into the big fight. Uh, Peso Vante. Uh, Peso Novante is, a, I think it's a 50 caliber. 95 or is it a, a caliber. 95 caliber. <laughs> yeah. And refers to a big shot. That's right. It's in, it's in this very scene. And uh-huh. of course, Vendetta. Vendetta. That said, uh, by Tatali in this scene. I'm, I was really surprised that a teacher thought, I don't know if Vendetta was a common enough thing outside of the context of. It didn't even occur to me that it was an Italian word per mm, se. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But yeah, but uh, yeah, you know. Anyway, uh, and Pazzo, Pazzo, P A Z Z O. Le capisce l'italiano e Pazzo. I don't know. I'm learning Italian. Um, Mikey says it about um, Apollonia. It's crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. When does he say that? When she's driving around? Uh, yeah, or maybe during something the like that. Yeah. yeah. They don't have many talking scenes yeah. together, so it must be one of those. One yeah. of those scenes. So, uh, how are your Italian lessons going? Going really well. I'm making my way through the CDs. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me try this. Uh, uh, io vorrei mangiare qualcosa con lei. I would, I would like to eat something with you. Oh, yeah. thank you. I just learned today how to say, like, what time is it? What time is it? Che ore? Eh, 
¿Qué es eso? No, no. Uh, el eso sí que. Yeah, right. spell socks, Alex. Eso sí que es. What um, else you got? Well, let's see. Uh, so the uh, interesting thing with the drugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of... Don't um, do them. <laughs> the drugs are bad. Uh, June 17th, 1971. Okay. That is when Richard Nixon announced the war on drugs. Really? He's the one who started it? He did. Wow. And um, by uh, Nixon's own, his like uh, uh, his uh, chiefs, of, chiefs of staff mm-hmm. said that the whole reason it was done was as a way to harass uh, black people and hippies. Wow. They're saying because in the popular mind, they wanted to equate hippies with pot Mm-hmm. and blacks with heroin they Why? wanted like to make that public association with mm-hmm. people and that okay. way they could and um so Why? where was were hippie ideals well just those those the two, they, they were like those are the two things we can't we can't mm-hmm. outlaw being black and we can't outlaw protesting the war yeah so let's make it so we oh. can, you know as close mm-hmm. as we can to yeah. just making it illegal yeah. to do those things and yeah, uh, if you can I mean, associate your enemy with something right, bad, you something, can sway yeah. public opinion. But also, they, you know, it's not just a public association mm-hmm. because incarcerations increased five times, mm, wow. like five times as many people were incarcerated oh, for drugs. Uh, in 2001, there were uh, two million people, two million Americans in prison. Uh, if you put total all, in, yeah, if you put all, all those, crimes. All crimes. Okay. No, no, no. Sorry, just just drug drug crimes. drug related crimes. Two million people in 1971. No, no, in, in 2001. 2001. So if you put all those people together, that mm-hmm. would be the 35th most popular state. Oh, that's crazy to think about. It, it would have more, more people are in jail for drugs than live in the state of Nevada. Just for drugs. Just for drugs. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. And also, so what you're saying is we're winning the war. Yeah, I'm saying the <laughs> eventually right? everyone will be in jail. And, and <laughs> yeah. No, everyone knows there's no drugs in jail. <laughs> Jail's going to be the great place to be because there will be more <laughs> Americans in jail than not. <laughs> it's not uh, so bad. You get three squares a day. <laughs> yeah, there was a science fiction story where, um, in an effort to crack down on crime, they basically invented crack, a computer and said, "How do we stop crime from happening?" And the computer solution was put everyone in prison, so everyone on the planet lived in prison, and that way there was no crime because everyone was no one could commit crimes because everyone was in prison. Oh my so, gosh! Uh, <laughs> in um, so they're specifically talking about uh, like obviously as we've um, the war on drugs is disproportionately affects. Mm-hmm. non-whites yeah, more yeah. so Communities than whites. of color definitely uh in uh, this is a crazy one mm-hmm. in um also in 2001 there were 792,000 um black men in prison mm-hmm. okay and that's about how many black men were enslaved in 1820 oh that's creepy isn't that creepy that's really creepy so uh wow. yeah um, a big landmark was the 1986 Anti Drug Abuse Act, mm-hmm. which is uh, was a big decision because it decided that crack cocaine, mm-hmm. um, you oh, would yeah. get 100 times longer sentence mm-hmm. compared to powder cocaine. Yeah, because, because black people were using crack and white people were using white, cocaine. Yeah, rich white people, rich white people <laughs> were yeah, using not the hippies. Yeah, so uh, so uh, um, I think they did. Have they even reversed that? comes up every now and then you know i don't know oh my gosh uh but wow. on the other side there are a lot of people have been getting out for um weed mm-hmm. related crimes like yeah. a lot of states have done like blanket just kind of like all right if yeah. you're in for uh, that would suck in a way i mean obviously it's great that people are getting out of jail but yeah. can you imagine like you spent 10 years for for dealing a tiny amount of weed and yeah, now it's like some dumb you just walk president. around and just buy it um, you know yeah I know. It's nuts. Yeah. Anyway. I know. The silver lining is you didn't spend your whole life in jail. But you're right. It would absolutely, oh, yeah. Yeah. absolutely suck. Yeah. Especially when you look at the origins of these laws. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. corrupt. Oh, boy. So, and there are. So, the moral of the story is don't, don't get do drusted. <laughs> <laughs> you must. <laughs> you must. Um, and, of course, there are uh, a lot of uh, conspiracy type allegations that mm-hmm. say that. Uh, 
in the uh, 60s that uh, heroin poured into the black communities 50s and 60s poured mm. in funded by like the CIA and, oh, to and keep stuff them like impoverished yeah to keep them impoverished and also mm-hmm. to sell the heroin that they were buying from other people yeah. and, and so on so mm. uh, yeah so Don Zalucci he was uh, he was onto something yeah, he yeah. was a visionary he was the Detroit Don too mm. don't forget that was his name the Detroit Don that's what that's what uh, uh, Puto refers to him. No, he actually calls him Don Detroit. I'm not kidding. No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, because I knew, I saw it a few times. Have you ever seen the movie Doctor Detroit? Never saw Doctor Detroit. Oh, okay, sorry. The Don of Detroit. Of mm. Detroit. Yeah, I think we made. I, now that I think about, it, I think we made that same joke last time about the yeah. Don of Detroit, the <laughs> capo of. <laughs> oh yeah, the, all last Saturday Night Live. Right? <laughs> Don of Detroit, keeping drugs in the non-white neighborhood. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so getting back to the minute at hand. Um, you know, the only thing I have left is is the filming of this scene is so awesome. How so? And when Don Zalucci is talking, mm-hmm. there's... Grandstanding? There are a few... This diatribe, there are a few shots that show one of Don Corleone... He looks up at at Tatalia, mm-hmm. and then another shot later, Tatalia Deta- kind of squirms in his chairs and looks over at Barzini, and no one's talking. Then none of them are talking. Right. He looks over at Barzini, and then Barzini looks over at Don Corleone, and that's when Don Corleone says, "I came here so we can find a peaceful solution." So that's it's, the moment when he realizes that it was Barzini all along. Yeah. I never. I was yep. t- watching it today. Was the first time I Me ever too. noticed that too. That Me too. Breaking it down minute by minute, you see like Tatalia look over. Over, like to Barzini for like uh, like guidance guidance yeah, yeah. and uh, then Barzini's looking at him then he looks over at Don Corleone yeah and that's one <laughs> isn't that great yeah and it's, it's just uh, it's very subtle too yeah uh I just today on the um Michael Cor- Michael Corleone's Mickey Mouse nightclub <laughs> Fredo Corleone's Mickey Mouse nightclub I shared mm-hmm. a, a great video about um it's analyzing the scene where um where Mikey's talking about going to shoot uh, the Turk mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. sort of how the blocking, even just watching it, you can kind of understand what's going on. Even if you don't understand just because visually the way people are, it's, I definitely recommend checking cool. it out. But this one I'll also has that kind of, because like Barzini is literally sitting at like the head of the table. Mm-hmm. So that should be a clue that, that yeah. he's really kind of the one, the one pulling all the strings. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I like that, uh, that, uh, this is the, is this the, this is the, Tatalia talk spoke earlier about the he kept all the judges yeah. in his pocket. Yeah. I love Tatalia's voice for some reason. Yeah. It's so like, like, oh, yeah, what are you uh-huh. going to do? I need assurance. <laughs> How do we know when yeah. Don Corleone <laughs> consolidates power? He's almost like someone doing a bad impression <laughs> yeah. of Don Corleone with yeah. the mustache and the boutonniere and the uh, yeah. So, um, or so also Don and um. And Tom are mm-hmm. both wearing black. I assume mm-hmm. that's warning for Sonny. Yeah, I think so. They're, because they both seem like they're wearing yeah. black, uh, black, black suits. Yeah. Um. So, so in this, but yeah. at the end of this minute, this is where Philip Tatalia says, "I need assurances mm-hmm. that okay." How do I know that he will Pers- do he won't personal, personal personal? Yeah, because Puzo writes. So they start to make the peace. Barzini is one who kind of summarizes where they are. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> finally Don Barzini Puzo writes finally Don Barzini sought to bring the meeting to an end that's the whole matter then he said we have the peace and let me pay my respects to Don Corleone whom we all have known over the years as a man of his word if there are any more differences we can meet again we need not become foolish again on my part the road is new and fresh I'm glad this is all settled only Philip Tatalia was a little worried still the murder of Santino Corleone made him the most vulnerable person in this group if war broke out again he spoke at length for the first time. Mm. And so it makes sense that he is the one most worried because it was quote, He's the his one. war. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, a personal vendetta. Have you uh-huh. ever had a personal vendetta? I don't think so. I also like that he specifies a personal vendetta as opposed to mm-hmm. a business vendetta. A professional <laughs> vendetta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, remember earlier in the analysis, we talked about how in the movie, Sonny is joking with Tom. This is way back. Yeah. says, ah, oh, Tom, this man yeah. is taking it very personally. And and Michael says, oh, no, Sonny, it's all, it's all business. Yeah. It's all business. Yeah. But actually, he hadn't been, oh, he had been socked yet. So he is talking like that. But in the book, if you remember 
Puzo had written it the other way, Michael had said, oh, it's all personal. Oh, right. Yeah, it's all personal. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Natalia is right to bring this up. How do we know when Don Corleone consolidates power he, down the road, he won't say, yeah. screw this agreement. I, I need to... Total, you need to answer for Santino. <laughs> Stracci, you need to answer for Carlo. Cunio, you need to answer all those kids whose teeth are falling out because you're giving them candy. <laughs> I said to keep it away from the children. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, so you, Don also says, uh, I thought we could reason together like intelligent yeah. men. Yeah. And um, he is, um, it's a double quote, kind of. What do you mean? Because um, the um, the 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 Bible of all places, <gasps> Isaiah one eighteen, is come now. Let us reason together, uh, says the Lord. And though your sins like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Mm. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. So it's kind of like saying, like, let's reason together. Let's mm-hmm. put all this like everything in the past is going to be forgiven. Mm-hmm. So that was. Uh, a um, you know, kind. Of, yeah. I don't know if that's a, a subtle thing, but also uh, uh, LBJ. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was one of his catchphrases. What was? Uh, let's, let's reason, let's together. reason together. Oh, so I, if to so audiences in 1972, that would have been like, oh wow, like having that's like you know someone mm-hmm. saying you know like uh, you're either with us or against us, you know something mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. to have a crime boss. Using the language of a recently yeah. outed president, uh, it was yeah. you know definitely that was the hippie side of Coppola. Or, uh, is I wonder if has that line in the book let us reason together. Uh, I, I, I could I'll I have to look for it. I to get up. But. Yeah, well, I, probably because if we remember, Puzo wrote this book. It was sixty nine, yeah, sixty eight, sixty nine, maybe. And so it was during that really tumultuous period in U.S. history. And the point I think one of Puzo's points is that. Organized crime, that the government is like organized yeah, crime. It's just it's, the biggest it's, crime family. Yeah. In the, it's the biggest crime family in the yeah. world. <laughs> Maybe not now, but 200 years from now, yeah. the framers of the Constitution won't understand. It is kind of funny when you put it that way because it's it's weird to think like we have to pay taxes and do mm-hmm. all this stuff, but it's basically just kind of like a like a protection racket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you don't if you don't pay up, we're gonna throw you in jail. If yeah. you don't give you know, <laughs> some of your money, you're like, well, yeah, I'll protect you. You're You'll right. be okay. You know, unless of course you know they get away with it. Then yeah. yeah, I think if you are the victim of a crime and someone gets away with it, you should get a refund. You should get like money back. You should totally get your tax refund. Yeah, your because the, they, you're not you're paying for services yeah. that have not been rendered. Yeah, leads. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you're blowing my mind right now. You are absolutely right. Yeah, it's a huge racket. I like the refund idea. <laughs> <laughs> totally, it'll give you an incentive if you're getting robbed. Yeah. It looks like insurance, I guess. Insurance. <laughs> it's, it's insurance. <laughs> it's insurance. It's just insurance. It's like like a uh, Italian franchise of nightclubs. Remember assurances. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I need assurances. <laughs> Meet me at assurances. <laughs> I, want, I want to start having Hyman Roth do the table pound. You know? Oh, oh he's too weak. He's too weak. <laughs> like, I, a, <laughs> I, I'm flying to. I, I flew to Israel <laughs> just to vote in the absentee ballot. I give a million dollars just to be able to pound my fist on the table. <laughs> and not shatter my hand bone. My Call in my doctor who speaks English from Miami. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Um, we got to rate it. Oh, yeah. You, you got more stuff? Um, just the part where, uh, yeah, the Dom looks at, um, and then in the end, mm-hmm. um, Barzini says he needs assurances. The Tatalia. No, I just realized it was Pazzini all along. <laughs> you keep getting me with that, man. I'm such a sucker. <laughs> That's great. I, I actually <laughs> mentioned it in the begin the summary at the beginning, and I was hoping you were oh, going to catch, catch me. It. You I caught it. I caught really it last good. week. You, was, were, you were just not yeah. paying attention. I, thought <laughs> I should have banged the table and then, then said. <laughs> um, all right. I guess we can rate it then. Yeah. So uh, Let's do a quick re- mental review, because this is one of several minutes that can we read my summary again? Sure. Don Salucci continues his lecture. 
It wasn't Don Zalucci, it was Tatalia. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it was Don Zalucci who pounded his hand all along. <laughs> Um, Cuneo uh, Drugs are bad But they're inevitable They should uh, Keep it to the dark People mm-hmm. do we, do we didn't even address The racism of that yeah, I guess that kind of Goes yeah. without saying Yeah yeah uh, The Don agrees For the sake of keeping the peace uh, But Barzini asks for assurances That the Don won't uh, Attempt a vendetta Attempt a vendetta also. Well it wasn't Barzini It really was Tatalia He asked for, asked for The assurances no, but, but it was you realize it was Barzini <laughs> all along. But do you really think that's true? That that Tatalia, that Barzini beforehand had say, "Hey, make sure you ask for assurances." Um, or is this really Tatalia just worried? No, I think it really is. I think he Tatalia. really is. Yeah, because I don't think yeah. Barzini really cares. Yeah. about Tatalia. Yeah, but, I so I think to tell that's maybe that's why he's looking at him because he's like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> like are you, you going to bring up the money to kill me, or do I have to do it?" Or? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's what happens in this window. Yeah, cool. Uh, you got the fist pounding. You got the pretty memorable speech from Don Zalucci. Yeah. Plus, you got the, the god Brando going, I'll he do talks this in to it. keep the peace. Yeah. Okay, you have a silent oh, Hagen behind Let's reason together. No. Let's reason together. Let's reason together. <laughs> like baby Don Corleone. I never wanted this for you, Don Zalucci. <laughs> I never wanted you to have to talk about drugs. I want you to be Governor Zalucci, Senator yeah. Zalucci. <laughs> Not this Don of Detroit trying to sell cars. <laughs> Don the Fist, Colucci Zalucci. <laughs> All right, yeah. I got my reading. Yeah, what is Don? If he were Don Det- the, the, the Don of Detroit, mm-hmm. what would his nickname be? <laughs> the Fist. The Fist, just the Fist? <laughs> or like the Pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or or not near the schools. No, oh, he's yeah. running on a pro education oh, uh, ticket. Not near the schools. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got mine. You ready? Yes. One, One two, two, three, three four, quattro, four, five. Yeah, it's good. You got the Don. Oh, it's so great. Don so Corleone. Great. It is so interesting to watch these all in one minute isolated scenelets. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Oh, it's such a great movie. Just makes you appreciate it. Yeah, it's a great movie. Scenelets. <laughs> <laughs> it's my new restaurant of Wolfing. Scenelets. Scenelets. <laughs> it's like dinner theater, but they just do little, like little, oh, yeah. they just do like uh, like one or two lines from movies. Ah. Just like the way, <laughs> like, hey, remember this one? I could have been a contender. And everyone goes, oh. Oh, that's it tonight. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Come back next week and Johnny will be back to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, speaking of coming back, uh, uh-huh. we have some bonus content we, we got to record. We now, what are, what are some of our potential topics? So, for our today? listeners don't know, but Alex, you've been on the road traveling. And while you've been away, I've been uh, coming up with some different bonus ideas. Oh, great. Okay, ready? Well, here's one. What if The Godfather took place in other countries? Hmm. I thought you were say other planets. Like Switzerland. It could be Switzerland. planets. <laughs> I mean, I could, it's kind of funny, but is it just, are we just going to start talking stereotypes? Yeah. And maybe that's, that's not true. so good. Yeah. All right. Anyway, next one is, what would be the different characters' professions after a life in crime? So like if the guy, if the family went legit? Yeah. All right, or like literally legit or just disbanded. Right. You know, maybe they all had just had to get real jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going out of business. <laughs> the Jenko Olive Oil Company is going out of business. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, our, uh, our our Latin scholar, Peter Carucci. So last week we asked, uh, what does, t- t- you asked, what does Tatalia mean? Mm-hmm. And so we have our answer. All right. So we'll do that. We'll definitely, we'll, we'll do, that definitely do that one. We'll definitely do that one. That doesn't seem like enough for a whole bonus content. No. <laughs> we'll and definitely then, ask and answer that one. Uh, another one I had is if the Godfather, if the characters had Siri or Alexa. <laughs> How would they use them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then let's see. I have a tongue twister. Hagen helped Hyman hire hustlers. Oh, that's an old one. He did that a while yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, we okay. did that one. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, oh, we wanted to add this to our regular ongoing standing item. Each episode in the bonus section, we add what would be a merch item from oh. that from that minute. Now, is this a merch item we're going to have or just that if Paramount was like, what are we going to slap a Godfather Minute logo on something? Probably that, Okay, the yeah, let's do that. I like yeah. that. Merch. Okay. So we let's can do, do that, that every time. Yeah. 
So if any of that sounds interesting to you, dear listener, please go to godfatherminute.com slash support. Become a, a supporter of the show. We really do appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to doing that GF3 commentary if we yeah. can get over that 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 comment, that uh, goal. So um, And don't forget, you can check out our, our podcast now on YouTube. YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's an easy way to listen to your... Second favorite podcast. So many people just is it just God under is it just under Godfather yeah, Minute? Godfather Minute. Yeah, right. just Google God, YouTube Godfather Minute and it'll come up. And you can also subscribe to it, so it'll it'll, always, it'll go instantly to your uh, YouTube feed. Yeah, notifications. Yeah, we may even start releasing the YouTube ones a little earlier than the the ones on other Ooh. podcast channels. We got you and I got to talk about that. Yeah, not earlier than the if we're going to do that, then we no, should, not the Patreon. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So. Uh, okay, everyone. Uh, so until next time, can I have assurances that Don Corleone will not attempt any personal vendettas?